Place another waypoint at the top of the mountain using the mountain symbol. Now you can create a trail route. Right click on the parking lot symbol and select create route, then set as start. Right click the mountain symbol, select create route, and then set as finish. The route should now follow the trail from the parking lot to the top of the mountain. Name your route by typing in the name field. Lastly, use the Find and Draw tabs to create a waypoint for your house. Then use the Route tab to create a road route from your house to the trail. This time select Road quickest before you calculate the route. You're almost ready to send your trip to the PN20. Click the Handheld Export tab and center your map so you can see all the waypoints and routes you want to include in your detailed PN20 map. Click the Select tool and select all of the grids associated with your house, the trailhead waypoints, and the trail and road routes. Type a name for the map package in the package box and click Save. Now you are ready to send this information to your PN20. Click the exchange button and view the data you just created in Topo USA on the left side of the box. Click the plus sign by each category to expand it. Select the waypoints layer that contains your waypoints and click send. Select the routes layer and click send. Select Save Map Packages, then click Send. You must also send the regional map for your area. If you click a regional map, the description displays in the box below the list. Select the appropriate regional map package and click Send. Before you leave Topo USA, click the Map Files tab and save your project. Now it's time to put it all together and go outside. Take the PN20 outside to an area with a clear view of the sky. You can view the satellites page while you wait for a 3D fix. The first time you initialize your PN20, it could take several minutes to gather enough information from the satellites to determine your location. Press the page button and switch to the map view. You will
will see a green arrow identifying your current location. Press the menu button to view the menu. Select routes, then select the route from your house to the trailhead. Select navigate, you'll see the route highlight showing the path to your destination. Once you start driving, you'll see a green arrow on the screen pointing in your direction of travel. As you navigate a route, the PN20 records it so you can transfer it back to Topo USA. Information about the approaching turn will appear at the bottom of the screen. Press Menu and choose Stop Navigating when you arrive at the trailhead. Now that you've arrived at the trail hike, Use the menu button to view the routes page and start navigation for the trail route. If you find an interesting location while on your hike and want to save that spot, you can add a waypoint to the PN20 by pressing the mark button. Use the center rocker buttons to move to the label field and change the name of your waypoint. After entering the name, you may hit OUT as a shortcut to the OK button. Press ENTER. Now press the SAVE button to store your waypoint. Congratulations! You've used the PN20 to reach your destination. Once you return from your trip, you can exchange the waypoints you added and your recorded track from the PN20 back to your Topo USA project file. Open Topo USA. Connect the PN20 to the computer and power it on. Click the Exchange button in the toolbar to open the Exchange dialog box. Select each item to transfer back to Topo USA and click Receive. In this example, we're receiving the bench waypoint. And the track log we made during the trip. Now you can use the tools in Topo USA to look at the information you recorded while you were on your hike. Click the Map Files tab to save the data in the project file so you can use it again later. Thank you for joining us for this demonstration. We hope it has been helpful and enjoyable exploring with your EarthMate GPS PN20.